हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय नेक्स्ट ऑनलाइन क्लास एंड दिस इज द कंटिन्यूएशन वीडियो ऑफ करंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड द टॉपिक व्हिच वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आवर टुडेस क्लास इज द मीटर ब्रिज यू सी इट इज अ प्रैक्टिकल एप्लीकेशन ऑफ विस्टोन ब्रिज और यू कैन से इट इज बेस्ड ऑन विस्टोन ब्रिज सो वी हैव लर्नड इन द प्रीवियस क्लास व्हाट वाज विस्टोन ब्रिज यू सी फोर रेजिस्टेंसेस वर कनेक्टेड in a form of bridge and when a potential at point b and potential at point d when it becomes same so we see that there is no current passing through this galvanometer therefore the galvanometer shows null or zero deflection right so we can say that this p and q are in series and r and s are also in series so likewise out of four resistances if three resistances are known then fourth that is unknown resistance can easily found out okay so this is a practical application of this which don't read therefore meter bridge it says that meter bridge because we use a wire of 100 cm that is 1 meter right so 1 meter wire is fixed between a to c now you see r is the resistance box which we will be using this 100 meter wire is being divided into two parts let us consider first a to d is l and b to c that is 100 minus l right we know in a balanced wheatstone bridge principle p by q must be equals to r by s right so here in order to find this unknown resistance this s is here unknown resistance which we need to find okay now you see we know p by q equals to r by s right so again resistances now if i say what are the factors upon which the resistance of a wire depends so resistance of wire depends upon the resistivity that is nature of the wire it depends upon the length of the conductor also it depends upon the area of cross section now if i consider this resistance here this r has to be as p okay that means i am comparing this p with this resistance r right so p will be rho l by a so this from a to d i have considered here p right so p equals to ad here the resistance of ad here so p equals to rho l by a now next you consider dc likewise resistance is being changed by q so q equals to rho l by a now in place of l what is the length here that is 100 minus l that is in place of l i will be substituting 100 minus l now area of cross section remains same because it is same 1 meter wire which is divided into two parts right so a remains same now you see this was i have considered this one equation number 1 equation number 2 so dividing equation 1 by 2 so when we divide p by q right hand side also get divided now everything will get cancel and we will find l by 100 minus l so therefore p by q equals to l by 100 minus l and we know p by q equals to r by s therefore r by s equals to p by q that is l by 100 minus l now out of here you see if we know this is a jockey when we place in the wire when we slide on the wire at a certain point we will be getting the null point so when we will get the null point that means we can say this is a potential divider and at this we are getting zero deflection that means this point here it is showing null point right so we will consider p by q equals to r by s same here when these two point were at same potential no current was passing through this so we say that these two resistances and these two resistances were in series and their combination are in parallel right so we say that here r by s equals to p by q so from here we can get we know the l if we know if it is at 45 then definitely other will be at 55 because 100 minus 45 is 55 so l will be knowing here r resistance that is known that one we will be changing while calculating s so after cross multiplication we can get the value of s easily right so what is meter bridge actually here meter bridge is the practical application of wheatstone bridge where we use the concept of balanced condition of wheatstone bridge here p by q equals to r by s so r is the resistance box s is the unknown resistance which we have to find and we will just slide the jockey on the wire that is meter 
meter where now at a certain point we will be getting the balancing point wherever we get the balancing point that is our length l and we will subtract from 100 then we will get 100 minus l that is and after that we will cross multiply and we get the value of unknown resistance s so this one also you will be writing in your exercise book so next we have potentiometer potentiometer is a device which is used to measure the potential difference accurately now you, might, you might be thinking that what is the use of voltmeter then voltmeter also calculates the potential drop here but you see potentiometer does it very accurately so the sensitiveness of this potentiometer is more than that of other devices right so here we'll learn how does it work you see it has two circuit one is called the primary circuit and one is called the secondary circuit here in the primary circuit we have a driver cell that is driver emf i have considered here b1 right now in the secondary cell we have the secondary battery that is let us consider here e now we are comparing our emf with a standard emf like you see in order to find the potential difference between point a and b we need to calculate here this emf that is e and d1 so we can compare the emf of two cells by using the potentiometer also like here we will be connecting here two cells that is two batteries like let us consider that every battery we can say so if one is used and one is just you can consider as new one that two if i place here that can be easily comparable means we can compare that which battery we have already used it and which one is new right so this sort of um, practicals also uh, we need to do in our lab right so this type of practicals also we have now you see how does this work like you see first of all a jockey is the negative of a jockey is connected with the negative terminal of the battery and all the positive terminal is connected to point a like you see the driving circuit driver battery is also connected to point a now when you connect the jockey jockey is the potential divider that is the instrument which is used to divide the potential now when we slide from a to b at a certain point we will be getting the balancing point now that means this jockey is connected with the galvanometer and the galvanometer this arrow is the galvanometer this galvanometer will show the zero deflection so wherever we get the zero deflection we can say that at that point the potential is exactly divided now it has been seen while sliding this jockey within this 100 centimeter wire that on increasing the length when we just increase the length from a to b then we have seen the drop is maximum that means the potential drop is directly proportional to length that was we say here b is directly proportional to length that potential drop we have considered here as e is directly proportional to length or e equals to kl right where k is the potential gradient here we say k is the potential gradient or potential gradient equals to e by l now with this principle so if i say what is the principle of the potentiometer wire so potentiometer is a device which is used to measure the potential difference accurately the sensitiveness of the potentiometer wire a potentiometer device is more than that of voltmeter right here the potential difference is directly proportional to length where e equals to kl where k is the potential gradient right so same here this k which is written in terms of v here so k can be written as v by l now what is l here l is the balancing length now you see i have drawn here three arrows so it doesn't mean that there are three circuits here so first i have kept at point p and I have calculated the length L1. Now again, I have calculated placed at point P2. That these are the positions, right? So these are the not different circuit. These are the positions where we have placed the jockey, right? So we have 
slide it from A to B in order to get the balance point. So as we get the balance point, so we say that that is that length is our balancing length and that L is equal to V. So likewise we have to calculate E here sometimes, sometimes it is being asked to calculate the potential gradient. So in the screen you can see two EMF E1 and E2 which is in secondary circuit and here is a battery B. So this is the battery B and this is the driving circuit and this is the secondary circuit right so in the secondary circuit we have e1 and e2 this emf we can compare by using this potentiometer so you can see the positive terminal of e1 and e2 both are connected to terminal a and the negative terminal is connected to k1 and k2 these are the keys which are further connected with galvanometer and the jockey j now in order to compare these two emf e1 and e2 first what we do we keep this k2 open and we close the key k1 and k2 be closed here okay so when we close here this k1 the current from this battery will pass through this wire also and it will pass through this circuit that is you see through this k1 because this battery the emf of battery b is greater than battery that is emf e1 right so the direction of current will be getting here and will be getting here balancing length let us consider to be as l1 okay so we know that if we increase the length the potential difference or the potential drop will increase therefore you can see the equation here e1 equals to kl1 right so e1 is the battery of e1 here and k is the potential drop and l1 is the balancing length when we closed k1 and when we opened k2 right in the second case what we do we close both the keys we include this k2 also when we include this k2 we'll be getting the balancing length for e2 right so we can say that e2 equals to kl2 now let us consider this equation number one and equation number two when we divide equation one and two we'll be getting e1 by e2 equals to l1 by l2 while sliding the jockey in the meter wire we see that when we place our jockey in a near to a then we'll get a left hand side deflection when we place on uh, at point b we'll find the right hand side deflection so likewise we'll keep on checking the left and right deflection and at a certain point we get the balancing point so wherever we get the balancing point that is our balancing length and therefore we compare the emfs of both the batteries so this is the circuit diagram for calculating internal resistance of a battery using the potentiometer wire and this is the expression that is small r equals to capital r l1 by l2 minus 1 So likewise we can also find that when k1 is closed then we will be getting here kl1 we will get a balancing length let us consider this as to be as l1 right now when we open this one and when we close this one we will be finding k2 that is kl2 right so when we find e1 and e2 we will just divide both equation 1 and 2 when we will divide equation 1 and 2 we will be getting e1 by e2 equals to l1 by l2 now both the balancing lengths are known and out of two emf one emf will be known and the next emf can be easily found out so in the screen you can see one question a potentiometer wire ab is four meter long where should the free end of the galvanometer be connected this is the free end free end of the galvanometer be connected to ab so that the galvanometer shows no deflection shows no deflection or zero deflection meaning is same right so where will be the point p should be placed now you see in this question 8 ohm and 12 ohm already it is given and we need to find at what point p will be getting the zero deflection here so we know from which stone bridge condition p by q equals to r by s now here what is our r r is our 8 ohm our s is 12 ohm and let us consider this p as to be as x so at a distance of x from point a we are getting the zero deflection here now if from a to p if it is x then what will be p be here 
total was 4 meter so 4 minus x that is 4 minus x right so i have noted down here on now at Wheatstone bridge condition we know p by q equals to r by l same here now in place of p i am substituting all the values that is x in place of q 4 minus x in place of r 8 ohm and in place of s 12 ohm now when we cross multiply we get the value of x here right that is 1.6 meter that means at 1.6 meter here we will find the balancing line that is zero deflection so this question will be your homework right that is question number nine you see last class i have taught you kids of law so based upon that you have to solve this one so you need to calculate here i1 i2 and i3 current that is i1 answer is given 1 ampere i2 2 ampere and i3 3 ampere also try to solve the short answer type questions you see in the screen state ohm's law on what factors that the resistance of conductor depend so i hope you have got your textbook you search answer from that and you note down in your exercise book so these are the few questions more and you need to find the answer of this question find the value of x here okay this is the circuit answer of this question is 6 ohm right and you will find the current passing through this circuit you see the circuit here so what will be the current here you will be finding most probably you will be getting 0 0.1 or 1 by 10 ampere okay so all the resistances are here 30 ohm so answer is 0 0.1 so for this class only this much and you write the notes from your book of potentiometer and this meter bridge and practice as much as numerically you can thank you